Hi I am a crazy scientist you have just seen the launching of a rocket oh it's really an amazing event. Do you want to understand this event? Yes, why not? Then you have to understand the concept of force and in the first session of this chapter laws of motion. In our mind the first question is arising. What is force? Now we are discussing about force so that we can understand the launching of rocket. Force is applied on a body by the surrounding with which the body is interacting directly or indirectly. We have to draw a diagram of the body, showing all forces acted on body by the surrounding. This diagram is called free body diagram or FBD. To understand this we have to take some examples. Oh a beautiful lady is swimming. Our object of interest or system or body is swimmer. Now we are discussing the different forces that are acted on swimmer by surrounding, with which this body is interacting. There are three surrounding with which the swimmer is interacting. One is earth which is applying a vertical downward force on swimmer. This force is known as force of gravity or weight of swimmer. The weight of swimmer equals to the product of mass of swimmer and acceleration due to gravity. This force is acting on all of us because we all are interacting with gravitational effect of earth. Second surrounding is water which is applying a vertical upward force known as force of buoyancy or buoyant force. Third surrounding is right vertical wall which is applying a contact force towards left. This contact force is known as normal reaction. All the three forces are acted on body or swimmer is shown by a diagram. This diagram is called free body diagram and in short FBD. This one is second example. A block is placed on a table. We have to draw the FBD of block. As you can see block is interacting with the plane surface of table, which is applying. Normal reaction on block in upward direction, because block is applying a downward force on table, and hence table is applying a force, equal in magnitude and opposite in direction, on block. This force is known as normal reaction. If you are standing on floor then floor is applying a normal reaction on you in upward direction. The second force is weight of block due to gravitational effect of earth. The FBD of block is shown in diagram. Now you draw the FBD of yourself when you are standing on floor. Draw the FBD of a book when you are holding it in your hand. Here you can see a block is placed on frictional inclined plane. Now we have to analyze that, what are the different forces are acting on block. The block is interacting with two surrounding. One surrounding is earth, due to which a vertical downward force, weight of block is acting. Another surrounding is ramp, due to which two contact forces is acting on block. One is normal reaction by inclined surface of ramp which is perpendicular to incline, in the direction shown in figure. Other contact force, by the frictional inclined surface, is the friction force on block, which is acting along the direction shown in figure. The frictional force is arising, because block has the tendency of relative motion down the inclined surface. This type of friction force is called static friction force. The direction of static friction is, such that, 
it will oppose the direction of tendency of relative motion. We will discuss about the friction force in detail later. Treat yourself as block and draw FBD of yourself when you are at rest on a ramp. Think if the ramp is frictionless. Now take another type of example. You can see a block or any object is suspended by a light cord known as string. Think, what are the forces are acting on block? Yes you are right. One force is the weight of block, as shown in FBD of block. The other force is tension which is acted by string in upward direction. Tension is a pulling force. It acts along the cord such that the cord pulls the body along the direction of pulling. I think that, now you are able to draw FBD. Yes why not? You are intelligent enough and I am a good instructor. Take a quiz test. A traffic light is suspended by two cords as shown in figure. Draw the FBD of the stoplight. Good job if you are correct. But if you are incorrect, do not worry, just correct your concept due to which your thinking process is wrong. We have seen the launching of a rocket. Now we are going to draw FBD of this rocket. First of all, think, what are the surrounding of rocket? Yes, one is earth and other is exhausted gas. Earth is applying a gravitational force, vertical downward, that is, weight of rocket. The exhausted gas is applying a very strong force vertical upward, due to which the rocket lifts. This event will be further discussed in coming sessions. The FBD of rocket is shown in diagram. The force applied by exhausted gas is called thrust. You are able to draw FBD. Now take some quiz tests. You have given a quiz test. In this session we discussed about force. Now you can draw FBD. Apply the concept of force in real life to understand the events which are happening around you. I am giving you assignment. You must take attempt. 
it will help you to command on concept of force and FBD. In the next session we discuss about use of force and Newton's laws of motion. I hope that you must have enjoyed this session. Put the comments so that my team gets motivated. We at Einstein classes are trying best to provide resources related to your education. It's free of cost for all. Please visit our site for more. If you can provide us any help, we really appreciate that. You can contact us at EinsteinClasses2003 at gmail.com.